Yo, 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 yo. I said, yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jaren Reigns, coming at you guys with another video. Now, if y'all new to the channel, make sure that you guys leave a like on this video. Let's get this video to 50 likes. Let's aim for 50 likes. I know y'all love the two-way, three-level facilitator videos, so let's aim for 50 likes. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And also, hit that notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button because once you guys do that, y'all gonna get notified every time I upload and stream. I got my team videos for y'all and I most definitely got part videos for y'all. So with that being said, um, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like on this video and let me know down below in the comment section what build you guys really want to um, want to see me do a gameplay on. I know you guys been um, going crazy with the two-way finisher build, so I got some more gameplay coming for y'all with this build. No worries about that. And um, obviously, when I can get the other gameplays for these builds, right, I, I will do that for y'all. But anyways, straight into it. So the two-way, three-level facilitator. I am literally the godfather of this build, bro. I made this build before anybody else did, bro. Like. I'm talking about I put it out there publicly like instantly you get what I'm saying right off the rip when the demo came out I made the build right away dropped the vid you know what I'm saying tweeted on Twitter all, all that dropped the video and sometimes some you know the way the community works sometimes they don't really give credit to people so I like to make sure I'm just stating that I made the bill first you know what I'm saying and I'm not trying to be toxic or start no race with nobody it's just sometimes people to try to walk all over you with certain stuff and i'm not for me i'm not that i'm not that dude so don't even you know what i'm saying they, they shouldn't even be trying that but anyways um two way three level facilitator one v one court guys we going we're gonna go to the wreck but before we go to the wreck though i want to show y'all a big change that i made now i know you a lot of you guys been you know y'all like the custom jump shot that i had but the first thing i'm gonna go to for y'all which i usually don't do i usually don't go to the jump shot first but the first thing i'm gonna do is go to the jump shot now y'all yes i did change my jump shot but it's not pretty much that much different. So anyways, you guys see right there. Um, I still got the Duke Dennis jump shot right here. It has a bottom base up Carmelo Anthony. But this one, I just switched it up and um, I put Jimmy Butler's base. So if you guys don't know, Jimmy Butler's base is uh, base 22. Real easy base. If you ever use Jimmy Butler in 2K, like um, a card on Jimmy Butler or something like that, you would know. But I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I literally messed up the release. So yeah, I had to release 100% to 140, release 148, which is literally incorrect. You definitely want to go 70% um, release 148 and then 30% Larry Bird. So that's one part I messed up on, <laughs> which is actually pretty funny because I literally did not know that. I was literally using release 148 alone and no Larry Bird. But um, yeah, thank God I came to this to make the adjustment. So yeah, okay, that's crazy. But anyways, um. 70% is what you want to do right here. And then, wait, can I just select it? Yeah, I can just go back up a bit. So yeah, upper base, release two. My bad, yo, that just messed me up. Base 22 for the jump shot. Um, Release one, which is release 148, and release two, which is Larry Bird. So yeah, we're gonna edit that and save that, keep changes and return. So we're gonna just go back to it again to make sure that it's there. Edit jump shot, go over to it. Okay, so it is there. All right, so that that was my big mistake right there. But anyways, to the animations now, y'all. We gonna get to the animations, and um, yeah, they're pretty much the same. The animations have not changed. Um, let me know what kind of reverse dunks you guys use. If there's a specific reverse dunk that you guys use, because I really don't know the specific one that you get that animation off of. Um, jump shot, obviously right here. It got switched to jump shot 22, so we gotta put it back to Jimmy base. You know what I'm saying? That same jump shot right there. And uh, let's see if we can keep that normal. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why it's switching up so much, but it's getting a little bit weird. No cap, no cap is getting weird, but it is 2K, so I can expect it. But yo guys, make sure that you guys stay tuned because I do got a video for y'all, another 2K21 news update. Some funny news is starting to come out, bro. It's starting to get funny, it's starting to turn into a, a joke. But anyways, this is what the stats look like at 99 overall. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's not 99.9, .9, so keep that in mind. I don't have that extra plus one. The badge is now, guys. So the finishing badges always stay the same. Contact finisher, fancy footwork. The shooting badges, I made a big new change to shooting badges. I now use silver quick draw. And um, these four Hall of Fame badges, you guys should use it by now. You should know that those are some of the best badges. Playmaking, you want to have unpluckable on gold because, you know, some people are going to spam you. Sometimes you'll, you'll still get a turnover 
um you can go silver tight handles if you want or you can just go silver space creator it's up to you i like to go space creator tight handles bronze just because i just mixture up the badges and then last but not least you got rim protector tireless defender intimidator clamps this badge right here is debatable you can go pogo stick you can go moving truck or post move lockdown um it's all up to you honestly but i guess pogo stick is the best case scenario because if you end up against the center this will help you in some shape or form or way um and i think that might be it for the that might be it for the badges i do have a little bit of skill boost left obviously um my weekly workout is the you know gym rats there now so it's permanent and yeah yo, i think that's pretty much it badges animations and that's everything and uh let's test out this new jump shot and see how it works y'all let's get it so i know y'all like the cheesy gameplay bro y'all like cheesy gameplay but you know i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be 100 percent honest coming to the stage with this build is not always the smartest idea because my interior defense is not that high it's not high at all and you know i got about like 19 defensive upgrades but sometimes it could end up lacking because you know i got minimum wingspan and not to mention you don't know what cheesy build you're gonna go against you see right here i'm going against a play making glass cleaner y'all y'all know that playmaking glass cleaners are really op but if you play their shot just right you can get defensive stops now a lot of the times they like to you see that little snatch back he did they like to do that but if you know play smart play the lanes or you know don't allow them to go baseline then you know you get some really good stops string some good stops together but you see me taking the first shot right there and i'm missing it how to get the jump shot down packed i haven't really used it in game right there as i got the big board um and i'm not gonna lie to y'all honestly guys i got a confession to make i got a confession to make during this gameplay right here guys all right i admit it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know it, you know personally it's situational for me meaning what i mean is the best build in the game right i made a top five build you know like a top five point guard builds and I had um I had the two-way slash and playmaker at number two and the two-way three-level facilitator at number one. But honestly, guys, if I was being completely honest with you guys, the two-way slash and playmaker is better than the two-way three-level facilitator for the 1v1 court, right? In situations, it can be, it definitely seems like it's, you know, I, I feel like it, it also might be easier for the two-way slash and playmaker to win on the twos court. But... The two-way three-level facilitator and threes dominant in 5v5 dominant so you know like i said it's situational for me you see right there i'm taking a shot right there missing it but in all honesty guys like i said you know for me personally that's how i look at it because they both both builds has their flaws like you can definitely shoot with the two-way slash and playmaker but it's not like you can just constantly shoot or consistently shoot from um deep range you know i'm saying maybe sometimes some some two-way slash and playmakers do that but for the most part for me personally um you know like like i said guys it's situational you see right here in the 1v1 court i'm dropping this guy off right now but i'm not gonna lie sometimes it is pretty difficult to you know drop people off because you gotta deal with you gotta deal with cheese but you see right here i'm giving him some buckets so he don't know what i'm gonna do um i could dunk i could go to the paint now if i if you know you know what if i was a legend guys it would be over because you know i would have more badges it would help me like break down the defender a little bit easier but um i really don't i'm not a legend so it's like the only downfall to this build sometimes i feel like it's the speed even though i have a 96 speed and a 99 acceleration i feel like sometimes they don't give me that extra speed i feel like i need maybe you know but like i said just in a 1v1 situation because when i'm playing threes and fives i feel perfectly fine but it's just as soon as i get to 1v1 where i gotta literally force to score my own shot and then the 2v2 where sometimes you know i can win on 2v2s but if i had to pick between the two-way slash and playmaker and the two-way three-level facilitator for 2v2s i'm gonna go with the two-way slash and playmaker because it's just easier to win games but threes i'm i'm, I'm going with the two-way three-level facilitator and um for fives i'm going with the two-way three-level facilitator so like i said guys it's all up to y'all but y'all see what i did right here in the 1v1 court anything is possible we are you know we got the lead but pretty scary and i pretty much did a great job of baiting this guy this entire game I'm pretty sure he wasn't really bad, but I just caught him by surprise how smart I was playing. That's really it, guys. If you just play with IQ, you can really beat anybody. Because this guy had to build to beat me. He didn't have to keep dribbling the way he was dribbling. He could have tried to post me up or something, but he didn't want to do that. So I could have took the three again, but, you know, I played it safe. I don't know. I probably would have greened that, though, because I have the sharp takeover. But I was, you know what? 
I went two for three from the three point line already. Um, y'all saw the jump shot green up. Um, and I wanted to play it safe, even though it looked pretty slow and he closed out on me, I still got a green. So like I said, guys, if you guys don't know already, silver quick draw can work. But guys, that is the ending of this video. Um, let me know which uh, point guard build you guys prefer, either the two-way slash and playmaker or the two-way three-level facilitator. But guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna come. I'm gonna, um, I might give y'all a two-way finisher gameplay tomorrow, but I know for sure tonight I'm also gonna be dropping a 2K21 news update. Um, I seen some some information that <laughs> I need to address and and you know I need to talk about it because I don't know, bro. I, I, like I don't know what's the direction of 2K21, but make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and hit those naughty bells. I'm gonna catch you on the next video, y'all. Peace.